Hey folks, we are July 7th, 2021. Uh, just some big moves unfolding in the oil market. Obviously, we have this week OPEC uh, really not coming to any decent agreement at their meeting. Um, so the 5.7 million barrel cut um, is still in effect with no new addition of supply onto uh, starting from August going forward. Um, but the important thing to note here is the, the effect that this is having on the oil curve, uh, where, whereby a lot of people are looking at $100 oil over the back of this. Um, so we're going to look at WTI. And we're going to look at the trade that would have been uh, on the cards, on the table, sorry, on the table last year when oil went negative. And then we're going to look at what, what that trade was and how that trade is now unfolding and also how, how the current market is looking against the future market 12 months out. So we're going to get into, this may serve as a, a bit of a tool to learn a little bit more about contango backwardation, okay, which is probably one of the more uh, difficult concepts for people to appreciate about forward looking at contracts and futures markets. So uh, let's jump over to the whiteboard. And here we are. So let's just get a couple of a couple of uh, house items straight here. Okay, so contango. Contango. Think up, think from where think from where you're standing as a person right looking at the market the market goes up in the future okay we're you know present uh say plus six months uh plus say 12 months contango contango all right okay backwardation think you guessed it think you're looking down right the present six months 12 months for example the oil curves actually go out about two and a half sometimes three years depends on uh depends on the liquidity available and, and what what you know what banks and and what some oil uh, trading houses are have on offer um at that time um but this is this is as simple as it is all right that's it you know you th you've got an oil curve similar to the way you would have a, a bond curve or a yield curve uh, for example um and the different durations obviously you have different durations on the on the bond curve you've got the three uh, well, you've got even as low as a three month, uh, six month, 12 month bills, um, it, it, very small timeline delivery to very, you know, to I think there's this 50 year products out there. Um, in some countries, they have, I think there's in the in South America, they've come out with uh, a 100 year bond. Uh, I can't remember which country it is. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're talking about oil here. So Contango, backwardation, great. Got it. Tick the box. All right, brilliant. Moving on. Now, um, if you're if you're in a if you're if you're in an oil environment, right, whereby we went to zero, where there was so much supply, well, if the last year there was just this over looming overhang of supply being left in reserve because of COVID, no planes flying, no one driving their cars no one doing anything no one using oil essentially well you gotta think well well the price went negative negative 36 bucks on wti okay all right we all know that so when something goes negative that much um you know we negative that much right um say negative 30 36 buck or, oh uh negative 36 right negative 36 well does anyone think that that's going to be where price where where the price of oil will be forever 
or even in six months, or even in three months, or even the next day? Well, the answer is that if, if you kind of know a little bit about what you're doing at all, uh, no, you, you, don't, you don't think oil is going to be at negative $36 forever after, right? And so you can, you, so rather than trading like, say, spot futures, all right, we tra there, are different, there are different contracts, different ways of trading oil, right? And lots of different products. There's three different main, uh, three different ways to trade uh, futures, really, main ways. Uh, uh, well, sorry, uh, sorry, not futures, but it's to trade this, right? One is spot market, or also known as the cash price. Uh, the second is uh, front month. Right. Uh, in the context of our conversation here, there's really just the three we're going to look at. Right. Second is the front month. So uh, right now, the front month is the um, the August Q twenty one contract contract, and the third is uh, is really uh, on the curve or um, what what would be the expression to use for this? It'd be like uh, it'd be like you know trading uh, curve, right? Curve or calendar, right? Calendar. So we're gonna look at this third one, right? And we're gonna look at a little bit of the front front month as well in relation to what I'm gonna show you here. So what we're going to look at is the 12 month and 24 month out contract from when oil went negative. <clears throat> All right. So this contract you're looking at here, actually, let me get up. Let me get up uh, the right contract so we can show you this properly. Um, let's do the Q21. And it's going to take a little second and I'm, uh, to, to get this up right now on the charts because we're loading quite a lot of data here. Um, but just give it a second. So really what I want to illustrate is you could have been buying in April 2020, you could have been buying oil contracts for delivery August 2021 or 2022 at that time. Now the chart we're looking at here, right? is August 2021 delivery. Okay, and this is this is the shape of that market. This is the shape of that market. Okay. And I was explaining this morning that this is the point that oil went negative. Now if you were forward looking and thinking at that time, you would buy, you would think, hold on a second, the market has gone so low that I, I just don't believe we're going to stay here for that long in oil. In fact, I think oil is going to be at much higher prices as a result of us not only being negative, but also because of the, 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 the way that OPEC uh, structured their cuts in the market, that it's actually going to have a huge impact on the price of oil for the next 12 to 24 months, and that we're going, we're going to 65. We could even go to $100 on this. Because all these as these companies, oil companies come out and say, you know what, because of the OPEC structure now, we're cutting our investment in oil. And because we have so much oil now in, in reserve, and who knows when COVID will end, we're not actually going to reinvest in, in discovering oil or, you know, exploration and production, also known as EMP activity or upstream activity for at least a year and a half. Okay, so then you would think, yeah, okay, I can get on board with that being an extremely tight oil supply picture. So therefore, we should be looking at much higher prices, similar to what I was saying at the time, boys and girls. Okay, fine. Here we are. And lo and behold, at that time, when oil went negative on the April 2020 contract, it was at this point here, 
on the August delivery 2021 contract. All right, so if I could I could easily go back and load and load up the um the the April what it would have been it would have been the um J21 or J20 contract here, right? April delivery oil. And that would have been this inflection here would show us negative 36 bucks. But if I'm forward looking enough as a trader, I can go out on the curve at that time in April 2020. And instead of trading the front month, I would trade the calendar. So I would trade the August, for example, say, say my view was that it would be August, uh, where we would see huge prices in oil, right? For me, at the time, I was saying springtime, we would see 65 bucks easy. So I would have traded 12 months out as in April 2021 contract. However, we're now in August and we've had a huge inflection point met in the country in, in, in the in oil. So therefore I want to look at this, uh, this current month that we're trading front month. However, this the month we're looking at now this contract was not the front month at the time it was the 12 month out calendar contract. So I would have bought say this contract here. And I would have held this contract to the rafters, the expression as in up to the roof, as high as I could, as, as high as the market would, would push. And sure enough, the analysis on this market, right, shows us that we have a huge, a huge inflection point here, sound like Donald Trump, huge, huge line in the sand here for this market, huge, right? So this is a very good area to take profits and I'll show you what's happening. Now, trading this calendar, you're really looking at say you, uh, well, I'll just show you what happened the, the low point to the high, you're looking at about 610% price change on this market. What we've had is also uh, from where we are to the high of yesterday, um, we're looking at we have 440 days and a price difference of um, 666 or sorry 66 dollars uh, price differential um, in real terms um, but point well point being let's just keep it simple here but yeah but it is it is a because this contract only went to uh, ten dollars and uh, 52 cent so if you're catching any of this low here right and you're trading the curve, like say you were stopping out on uh, this day's, let's let's just zoom in here, right? And this is this is calendar trading on oil. Say you were stopping out on the uh, on the close of the prior day, uh, you were entering on the open of this day, and then you know forget about it. This this is this is a big 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 trade, right? Uh, to where we are at market, say now. You're doing about one hundred and thirty-four thousand, or sorry, one hundred and thirteen thousand four hundred and eighty per single contract traded on WTI. Now, one of the huge benefits to trading calendar um, and out, outdated calendars is that you don't have to roll the contract. Right, you don't have to roll the contract because the contract isn't expiring for another year, right? Another, well, another year and a half, actually, at April last year. So you don't have to roll it. You do have to identify a large move on the cards. So, so you, would be, you would be essentially getting flat on this trade at the end of July when you have to have it roll up, when the August contract essentially will start to, to, to go out and, get, and, and, you will, and, 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 and cancel and trade out, right? It will no longer be available to trade, okay. And um, when we get to when we get to really the actually the end of August, strictly speaking, or sorry, the start of August, the, the three days before the the first of August, you will have to deliver for that, right? So, um, you you know, nice trade, eh? Nice, good trade, um, good trade. So that I mean, the the risk reward on this trade, I mean, forget about it. Stop there. Enter here. Uh, you know, I mean, you're, you're doing, uh, about this, uh, five yesterday, it's about 53 to one, 53 to one. Okay. So this is, this is how you would trade a calendar on oil or any product, right? 
Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, where does oil sit for 12 months from today? Where does oil sit from 12 months from today? Because up until this point, in my view, we have been in contango. All right, later dated delivery of oil is higher priced, okay? Um, as I was saying on the whiteboard. So let's look at what the August 2022 contract uh, is doing. All right, the August 2022 contract. And so what you're going to see here is because, as I highlighted, we came up to such an inflection point in oil. Um, on this contract, it's what, 76 spot, 38s around there. Um, 60, uh, yes, spot 38s. Um, so because we come to such an inflection point, I've been talking about there is going to be a huge unwind of people who were trading multiple uh, calendar out dates when oil went negative, and they're now liquidating out of those positions. And what we're going to see is over the coming month, you're going to see more of a of a of a turn from the industry from oil being in contango, where the future is higher priced, into backwardation, where actually we're now front month is 76 or sorry yeah what are, what are we now on oil we're um 74 bucks right now trading right we're at 74 bucks but now because we, we're seeing here you go here here is now the liquidation we're seeing in the august 2022 contract delivery right huge selling down on this take profit taking huge right because essentially there's there have been people in April of last year, not only could you buy the April, the August 2021 delivery contract and hold it until the end of this month, but you could also uh, buy the August 2022 contract and hold it uh, until August, until the end of July next year, right? But you're seeing now a huge run for the exits uh on on this huge inflection point um for oil uh where we are now i mean on this contract you would have been doing about uh 130,420 per single contract traded um you know 32 to 1 on uh, essentially well sorry let's do the same trade it was roughly roughly oh roughly this trade here uh, you're doing about yeah, 34 to 1, 118,000 uh, per contract traded. But you're seeing a huge unwind now, people taking profits because, like me, people are looking at, well, maybe the future is uncertain at this time. And we've reached a plateau for the current pricing. And we want to liquidate and get out of our contracts and rearrange for uh, trading a contango or sorry a backwardation environment uh, an oil price that's in backwardation where now the front month is going to be maintain uh, being more expensive than than any of the calendar months so it, it, this is a confusing topic uh, backwardation contango um, trading oil calendars but hopefully this serves as a sort of a, a primer for that uh, in a way. So um, yeah, any questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, in the chat room. All right, thanks, bye-bye.